Okay, what I'm going to read is a pretty much technical analysis of Turbo from the blog Shinrin Arts Easel. Um, the whole entire thing is very well written, it's very well thought out. At the same time, how this person wrote it is just hilarious. I'll be posting a link of it below in the little link box below to so you can go read it for yourself. At the same time, go check her stuff out. As well as one last thing to say before we get started to do, doing the reading. Spoilers! Tons of spoilers ahead! Be fair word, there will be videos! Voice clips! There is spoilers! If you do not want to view spoilers, turn right back around and go the other way from this link, because I do not want to spoil the movie for you. So without further ado, let's get to the fun stuff. Warning, this is long and goes in depth about why I think saying Turbo equals homicidal maniac is incorrect. Also, no, I'm not saying that he's completely innocent. The little shit did a lot of things wrong. I just don't really feel like people take everything about this character into account. You know, I don't think I fully understand people's reaction to villains. I mean, look at characters like Judge Claude Frollo, or Mother Gothel, and you look at their motives and what they did. Frollo was up for straight up murdering people because of their ethnicity. He was forced to care for a child out of his sense of religious guilt and basically warped that child's sense of self and instilled a fear of punishment. He was not a kind man. Then we have Mother Gothel, who did the same only with a honeyed dose of kindness because if you keep them content then why would they want to leave? And she managed this without murder, to our knowledge, just kidnapping. Adamantly, she did have a very strong driving force. Her life was on the line. Yes, the magic in Rapunzel's hair kept her young, but it was also keeping her alive. Why am I talking villains? Because then there's Turbo. Okay, let's take a look at this little shit. Turbo wanted attention. He sought attention and got his game and a second game unplugged for it. Now let's think about this. What does unplugging mean in the game world? It means that you lose your home, your livelihood, basically your place. Look at Qbert and his buddies. Do you guys know how old that game is? How long have they been hanging around Game Central Station only getting by on the kindness of others? If you go by Wikipedia, they started losing popularity in 85, which means they might have been hanging around for 27 years. Do we know for sure if Turbo even knew these things were on the line? He was a popular game. For all we know, his ego had gone to his head, and he thought himself infallible. So, left without a home, barely escaping death, since the script states he actually escaped Road Blasters, and Infamous, and, let's face it, most likely despised throughout Game Central Station. You're not going turbo, are you? Survival is top of your list of shit you're going to need to do. 